Uh, Dead Horse is a wonderful place to go fly. Uh, we're up in the Arctic, there aren't a lot of other aircraft, so we're able to get permissions to fly uh, interesting routes up here. Uh, it's also very interesting weather, so the optimization algorithms uh, have some interesting uh, weather conditions to work through. So today we are uh, testing and demonstrating software that we developed at NRL in collaboration with our partners at Naval Postgraduate School Platform Aerospace and our sponsor, the Operational Energy Prototyping Fund. So the goal today is to show that the software we've developed reduces the fuel consumption of this aircraft, enabling longer time on station when executing a mission. Flying Vanilla with some algorithms from NRL and partners. Vanilla is a very long endurance aircraft and what we're doing is trying to extend its mission persistence. So we're testing those algorithms together. So the way Potion works is we take the weather forecast and uh, an energy model of the vehicle and we effectively simulate the vehicle flying through that weather forecast to find the optimal trajectory. The trajectory being not just the path the aircraft will follow, but also when the aircraft should arrive at each point along that path. The fuel efficiency is one of the fundamental limitations across all autonomous systems, uh, not only used by DOD, but in, in our social life. Uh, regardless of the uh, state of the art of the platform, Every system has its own finite metric. So, Scan Eagle can operate 20 plus hours, uh, another aircraft can operate 18 hours, Puma can operate 4 hours, solar version of Puma can operate 8 hours. The point here is that every system has a number associated with it. What we are trying to do, we're trying to extend that number, not by redesigning a system, but by redesigning the software. The system that will be flown, like Vanilla, remains the same. We're adding new software and we increase capabilities of the system by a number. And this is uh, very important. So if you're an unmanned aircraft operator, you're sitting at your ground control station in front of the software used to operate the aircraft. Generally, Potion will be sitting alongside that. You access it through a web browser. So that web browser can be running on the same computer. And then the operator will input the, the location they want to fly to. And Potion will pull the latest weather forecast and then generate the optimal trajectory. The user can then download the flight plan corresponding to that op optimal trajectory and then import that into the ground control station software they use to operate the aircraft um, and execute it. So Vanilla's capabilities are an eight-day endurance that we've demonstrated. It's a very long endurance, uh, world record in fact. Uh, what's important though is putting that persistence out on mission. So Potion is helping provide the optimization to put that persistence, put that endurance out where it matters most. So Potion doesn't control the aircraft, it makes a recommendation to the operator. And so what we've tried to do is create a seamless process where the operator can request a recommended uh, trajectory from Potion, which is then available to them and they can either choose to execute that optimal trajectory or not. Portion in uh, simulations, in hardware and loop simulations that include pieces of hardware, demonstrates promises to reduce fuel consumption by 15 to 20 percent. And those numbers are seasonal. Depending on the region and depending on the season, uh, these numbers will vary. But adding 20 percent to the existing endurance of Manila is a huge number in terms of operational and mission management perspective. So after the Potion program, we have another program planned called Guider. And in Guider, we're gonna take what we did in Potion and extend it by implementing features that automatically route the airplane around regions we don't wanna fly through. We're also adding a couple of features to do things that are really focused on mission execution rather than just getting somewhere efficiently. And so with these new features layered on top of the base capability we're demonstrating here in Alaska, I think we'll have a very useful tool for the DoD.